Today marks one year since the historic once and a thousandth year rainfall here in South Florida. We remember that. The Edgewood neighborhood of Fort Lauderdale was one of the hardest hit and CBS News Miami's Joan Murray returned to that area today to see how things have changed since then. Joan. Oh, well, who can forget? And the weather today couldn't be any more different. Blue skies, not a drop of rain. A year ago, this area was waist deep in water, and the recovery goes on. This is how the day started, April 12, 2023, and how it ended. Swimming in our living room. Broward broke a rainfall record over two feet in five hours. Streets and hundreds of homes underwater. Stranded residents had to be rescued by boat. The Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport shut down for days. Fort Lauderdale City Hall destroyed and is awaiting demolition. We had water shin high throughout most of our house. Mm -hmm. um, we actually couldn't get out of our house. We had to crawl through the window. Noah Khan and his family were out of their home nearly a year. So they're going to have to bring up because this room got hit the hardest. And there's still work to do. They had flood insurance, but still need a loan. People's personal belongings were in my front yard. Um, it was just complete and utter disaster. <laughs> a disaster for the South Florida Wildlife Center too, located just yards from the airport. There were things that were missing. <laughs> there were things that were broken and then there were some of the wooden habitats that did unfortunately suffer irreparable damage. But Carolina Montana said the community stepped up and in the past year they've been able to rebuild what was lost. No wildlife died. <laughs> Warren Stewart, who rode out the storm in the hard-hit Edgewood neighborhood, remembers a neighbor's boat being used to deliver flooded residents to dry ground. Houses are a lot better off because a lot of people have, you know, collected insurance, done the remodeling. Some of them are remodeling on their own because they had no insurance. And it's just made this whole neighborhood improve. The county was declared a disaster area, and federal money has helped with some of the recovery. Fort Lauderdale's mayor said fortifying infrastructure is about a quarter done, but it will take 10 years to get drainage fixed citywide. But we survived. You know, there were no deaths, and uh, and I have to my shout out to all those uh, young volunteers who went door to door in certain neighborhoods, who found senior citizens who were stranded, took them out of their situation. It was a community that actually came together and, and uh, it was a good moment for our city. And here in Edgewood, we're told they have put in over five miles of new pipe to help with drainage. But as you heard, it's going to take a decade to get this project done citywide to help with drainage. So expect to be seeing those work trucks for years to come. It's going to cost millions and millions of dollars, but Fort Lauderdale is getting some help from the federal government. Live in Edgewood, Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.